What is going on guys? It's me, Young Pablo, Lord Pablo, Muhammad, Daniel, whatever you guys know me by. Today I am joined by Lamela Vencer as usual and welcome back to Talk Talk Tamba Volume. Uh, okay, I okay, not enough freedom, let's just go ahead. Okay, so let's get on to the first topic of the day. Recently, there was this thing going on in the local streetwear sneaker scene lah, where there was this undisclosed, let's just say Stock X wannabe in Malaysia lah, okay? So there was a few problems with them. Do you want to explain the problem? Well. First of all, I heard, I heard lah, I heard uh, they they were they, they were using other people's photos. They were using other people's photos without their consent and selling oh my, other people's my. shoes really without bad. their consent. So I believe as a professional professional organization, you, you professional should, organization. Right? But they they ex, they sort of explain it. They saying it's a uh, staff mistake. Okay, oh, fine, staff mistake. Can I accept it happens human errors? Human errors. Well, one time, okay lah. Give them a chance lah. Okay, but. Subsequently, I think you could follow up on the story. Yeah, so it happened again. Suddenly, I think one pair of off-white Presto. Presto. Yeah. They had it in half sizes. So if you guys don't know, quick tip outside there for all you viewers who want to buy off-white Prestos in the future. They did not release at half sizes oh. at all. Only whole sizes means 8, 9, 10, 11, no 8 and a half, no 9 and a half. Suddenly, on the website, there was half sizes. That's a bit suspicious. No, no, there, there, there were half sizes. That's, that may be another human error, but there was sales figure for the half sizes. Wait, so you're telling me they actually sold half sizes? I don't know, but so? I saw, they, they, they actually have sales figure for the half sizes and they were in very you know random numbers, which means it possibly could be true or not. But it is not like 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4. I was trying to pick one to buy in Paiko, but there were so much random numbers that they were like totally different figure. That means you, you can't just possibly come up with that, isn't it? So what reason did they actually give for this? A human error. Again, human error, yo. God damn it, god damn it! First time, okay lah, human error. Yeah, okay. Second time, human error, again, something is wrong there lah. And then you got half sizes some more, and then what? They had sales for half sizes. Yeah, yeah guys, so you know like, this website, is the StockX wannabe in Malaysia, is like, they put half sizes, I mean, come on lah, rookie mistake. You expect people to trust you and you make. But they have 5,000 members. 5,000 uh, 5, followers. Or 5,000, I don't know, whatever. But you know, it's just only recently they have 5,000. So they must be pretty awesome. They are half sizes and they claim to have a legit check. So they do legit check as well? Like like StockX? Yeah, like exactly. StockX. Yeah. So here's another thing guys. If you guys didn't know, even with StockX itself, they do even have problems sometimes where they say it's legit, they mark with the green tag, they say it's legit. In fact, actually, I just bought a shoe from StockX. So I'm just going to share with you guys one shoe I just bought from StockX. You see? If you buy from StockX, you get all this good stuff, you get the tags and all. And see, this shoe I got from StockX, there was a case, right, where somebody, he bought an FNF shoe, but it came out to be the normal version. It was a Travis yeah, Scott yeah, Travis. AJ4. As a human error is understandable, but when it reoccurs too much and too much, I think happened twice. Then there's a problem. Twice, really. And then the very specific mistakes, like half size with sales figure, I really don't know how you can yeah. explain rationally about that other than just saying. I mean, when error. people are buying from you, they're trusting your services of legit checks, and they're fully trusting you. You know, you, they pay extra a bit above market, but it's fine. Because you know, it's gonna be legit. I don't know if the stock X wanna be Malaysia, if you get any tags or anything. So I don't know. I never bought from them. I don't think I will no, ever no, will. The funny thing is, once the procedure is done, they go offline. That means they communicate directly with the seller. Ah, through... that's, just, that's just very suspicious. Yeah, there is... Everything should be just like, you know, recorded. So and... tell me what's the difference between them and the reseller. There's, the, there's no difference. There, and there's... Who's, who's legit checking the shoes? That's, that's all I wanna know. Yeah, that's that? the point. Who is, who is doing the legit check of the shoes? So, all right guys. So we're not gonna go in depth anymore about this. This stock X guy, they say, they have people to legit check what are their qualifications yeah. that's what I really do they have a certificate for, from yeah, college saying oh I on. passed this course I can now legit check shoes you want to hear from you guys sorry educate yourself watch YouTube video watch uh, masses uh, watch all kinds so know. would you still pay for the services for legit check services so we're just gonna leave it at that and now so as you can see we have a lot of shoes on here so do you want to talk about the shoes well we want to talk about current trends that's the reason that we uh, bring out majority of the shoes which is 80% or 90% mine and 1% is yours 1%, you don't have to do 10% at least. Uh, don't, don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> I want to say that I think Off-White is getting out of control. When I first started with the 10, I thought, oh damn, I need to collect the 10. But now it feels like they're releasing the hundreds or the thousands already. It's exactly. starting to be like, there's an Off-White almost every one or two yeah. months or one or two weeks. It's they should have just done the 10 each year, per year. Precisely. That would be perfect. Point. I mean, okay, let's take a look at the Yeezys for example. They used to be so high. 
But then suddenly Adidas started releasing so many colorways and as you can see from the last release and resale prices clearly the hype isn't there as much as it was but the first time. But even Off-White is really reaching that point very fast you now. Exactly. Look at the resale price of the Mercury Vapor okay. Off-White. Yeah, the Mercury Vapor Off-White. Yeah, that, that is not too high resale. Right? I, we can actually kind of like, uh, you know, work a bit and can buy it. Yeah, but if you hustle a bit, you can get it. Precisely. When you do too much, that is the final result of it. But for them, the effect is happening faster than Yeezy's. You know, Yeezy is still the, one of the best functional shoe ever. It's super comfy. Wait, wait. There was a shoe, the Yeezy shoe that just released recently. The Yeezy 500 utility. Oh, that is crap, man. That's oh. the ugliest pair of Yeezys ever, ever released? released by you know it's just pure ugly. I don't know why people were gonna buy them and wear them. I know I know some people in masses are wearing them actually <laughs> and say that it's nice, you know. It, it's totally horrendous. It's like a, a few bundles of shit wrapped together in plastic bag, put on your foot and you wear it. That's Yeezy 500. It's yeah, is a also if you want to go to school hype and you're a prefect, get the shoe. Yeah, it's a prefect shoe, it's a construction worker shoe. That's it's why it's called uh, utility, you can utilize it for everything. That's why utility shit. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, excuse me for my language. It's utility, black, ugly shoe. I, I think it's uh, even a few days after uh, release, it was still sitting in in certain sites. In the yeah, Yeezy Supply actually still right now has a 7 and 10.5. So, you know, that's quite surprising. Like, one week after release and it's still available. If you tell me this two years ago, I wouldn't believe you. But now, I'm seeing it for myself. Yeah, it's I, happening. Even this, you can get this like 100, 150 above retail only. It is, it's not too expensive. But that's the consequences when you do too much too soon with it and this is the direction that this thing is going on if they keep releasing this shoe they keep doing this the prices will be you know it won't be hype and then later on yeah. but wear what you want that's the yeah. most important thing if you like the shoe go ahead and get yeah, it you, but, you know you we're know, just speaking from our general perspective and what we think well i feel that they are doing too much of this i have enough of off-white for the moment already <laughs> Oh, you just throw expensive shoes. Ah, uh, whatever lah. Uh, okay. The point is, they are going that direction of the Yeezy, really. I, I just hope they would calm it down, you know, chill for a bit, you know. I, I would implore you not to buy the Yeezy 500 to uh, the utility black. So they would, everybody would reconsider or, or, or stop buying all this. You know, I think, I got a feeling that the off-white, the Mercury Vapor is... 80% is resellers who's buying them actually. Exactly. And actually, yeah, you're right. I've never seen actually someone wearing that. How to wear that shoe? Yeah. Unless you on work out or something like that. It's, it's just an orange shoe with a black dot. It looks like the Pataling Street kind of uh, shoe. It, I, I, it, I, I... <laughs> I got a feeling that Mr. Abu Dan has really kind of like reached Abu the apex of it and you know his, 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 his brains like freeze oh shit what do I do next oh like my LV I just copy AJ or something like that yeah, you can see in his LV shoes yeah the LV AJ yeah, it, it's the same thing the creative juices of somebody when you press too much in the end there's nothing left so guys we're now gonna be moving on to, wait uh, can I take a break first uh? it's pretty hot in this helmet really. uh, sure go lah go lah Tari terkinja kinja macam kongkang. He, teruk dah budak zaman sekarang ni. Bionya lah. Budak-budak. So yeah. now we're going to be talking about future trends and what we think will be the future trend and maybe you resellers can catch on to it and can use our tip. Well, first of all, I think the Easy 500 have no space at all in the future trend at all. You know? it's, it's Imagine it's so ugly that Kanye West had to use nude models to uh, model it. So you just look at the nude models, you don't look at the shoe. It's called Misdirection by uh, Kanye. I think that is pretty much out of the picture for yeah. me, I feel. I, I, didn't, I couldn't even look at the pictures because haram, you know, mostly. <laughs> Halal boys. I, uh, you know, Halal I just look at the shoes only, you know. I, I didn't notice the picture until uh, some guy named Julian told me about it. Uh, Julian. <laughs> But I, I, I think some shoes will still be classic. For example, uh, the Yeezys. 350. Uh, it's because it's a comfy shoe. I think it will still have a, definitely a place in the market. Maybe it won't sell out as fast anymore. It will definitely sit maybe two a year actually like, Just a year from now, it will just sit 
And but people will still buy it from time to time, and when it goes on sale, if Yeezy's going on sale, you, you, you can say nuts about Kanye, but he makes really comfy shoes. I yeah. can tell you about this. But the problem with these Yeezys is like, for example, if you go to Sunway, you can see like nine out of ten teenagers wearing this. I don't know how many percent is fufu, but it's too common. It, it, it's really becoming yeah. The, 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 There's no the, originality, like you were saying. Yeah, precisely. Shoes, about shoes or the ships. You know, like everybody is wearing them. That's where Nike have. Uh, distinct difference yeah. between them as you can see with the element react i mean i don't think adidas has ever i think adidas may have released one or two i'm not sure i'm not uh, into adidas but nike released this element react which is see through so yeah it's your shoe do you want to talk more about it uh first of all i want to thank uh, lord pablo for copying this for me for retail uh, and then low balling me for every other shoe after that. So I, I think the no, the most fantastic thing about this shoe is how light is it the material is you now, and and the fact that you can wear different color socks, wear different design socks, and you put it on, it become a totally different pair of shoes. Like this, like this, like this, like this. It looks so actually, different. It's many shoes in one. And I feel this trend will probably continue. And I, I totally love this kind of shoes. Especially among agents, you know, agents have to save money. Walk up to an you guys are cheap. Thank you for noticing. Thank you. You buy one shoe all in one. You just buy different pairs of socks. That's all you need. Um, I don't know about that. Like, I'm not talking about saving money. I'm talking about buying what I like, like you know. Fair enough. I would feel that. Not only this is uh, transparent, you have the zoom flies. Yeah, the zoom flies are so transparent. So as you can see, this is one of the trends we predict, which is transparent shoes. As Nike is also pushing towards transparent shoes, I have a feeling maybe a few months down the road, there will be more transparent shoes coming out, more pictures, and I feel like transparent shoes is the new wave. You guys should ride on that wave. I mean, not only about wave. Like people saying, you know, oh, I buy Ultra Boost because they are so comfortable. Oh, it is like walking in clothes. No, no, Ultra Boost is no more hard. Where all these people say, I buy Ultra Boost because it's so. It's just about, you know, functionality and, and, and form. These shoes are extremely comfortable. I, I can, except for this. Uh, Caught in soul. Soul, which is totally. Uh, perhaps you can replace with Boost. Like. This sole is super comfortable. Even the Zoom Fly is super comfortable. So, to make it into a trend, I think form and functionality is very important. That means you must be able to wear the shoe for a few hours, and this is where they have the advantage. What I feel is, as I, I concur with you, transparent shoe is, is definitely the way the way to go. I'm just wondering why the Zoom Fly SPs are sitting overseas, and it's one of the best looking shoe ever. I think also one thing that we must say that the price point plays a very important part moving to the future. Yep, exactly. Um, and if you can get it for retail, definitely, because like. Look, 500, 600 for this shoe and Ultra Boost what, retailing at 700, 800 which 800. is Yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, I would rather take this shoe even though the functionalism is not as good as Ultra Boost but I'm still getting the same about less comfort but better looks and design in my opinion. I prefer this over Ultra Boost anytime. I wear Ultra Boost for almost a year, all, all of them, you know. And I would say this feel much lighter compared to Primate. But I mean, it's Ultra Boost. Nobody will buy Ultra Boost at retail because everybody knows three months down the road and will be selling them at a discount price, really. The next trend, I think, is translucent shoe. So, and cheap shoe. Yes, cheaper shoes, definitely. We're going to be seeing a lot more people buying cheaper shoes and buying exactly more of what they like. Streetwear is about individualism. I think everybody should buy what they like. You know, if I call your shoe bricks, you don't have to care about me. You, most yeah. more thing is, do you like the shoe? Buy what you like. I think more and more people are slowly getting the idea of buying what they like yeah like my wakanda shoe you, everybody love it i still bought it i still it's wear still, it it's still ugly that's ugly than beautiful to me that's the whole point you, you we shouldn't be yeah. we shouldn't have this hurt mentality you, you shouldn't be bad hurt when someone says your opinion should matter to you we're gonna wrap this topic up with a question for you guys leave it in the comments below i really want to know why the malaysian people you know if there's any international viewers shout out to you guys we want to know what do you guys think is the next wave or the next trend so I think that's all for today. I don't know. I still got a lot of complaints about it, but you always got complaints, lah. You like the old party at the shop drinking tea. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> coffee cold already. You still never drink yet. You still talking. You know? yeah, I'm still talking. I, is it? Is I, it? I, mean, I, I, I want to complain about ultra boost. Okay, lah. Enough, lah. Enough, lah. Enough, lah. That's. I, I so, don't want to complain. No. We keep putting shoes. Okay, lah. Nobody. You know, we are you bring up with the MBPJ or something uh, like I don't know. Like, you know, Nike, I didn't plug So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Masses and let me know what you guys think about this episode and make sure to answer the question. I really this, want to know. This was sponsored. 
So, bye, Anta. Good shoes. But oh, I like the last one. The last one. Okay, yeah, let's not get off topic. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Lord Pablo Muhammad Daniel. And this has been Lord Trooper. <laughs> Lord Trooper. Yeah, yeah, and these are all my shoes. Eh? The so yellow shoes. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Thank you, you know, guys. Enough, enough. Stop talking. Like, you talk so much. Like, today. I